Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing some machine gun because I've decided that's gonna be the best course of action. So, this time we're gonna be playing machine gun but not the solid version you usually tend to see on the YouTube. We're gonna be playing the machine gun with a pump. So, this is gonna be this more of a cheesy variant which we're gonna be having a lot of fun. We're gonna start up by pumping up because that's pretty much all you have to do to win the video game. I'm gonna right now try to just hold on to my dear life and do not lose the pump. Very important detail. But at the same time he's just spending. No, he actually spent 10 mana so this device I think was fine for us because we're already back to another mana pump. So this steel hammer should be relatively enough to deal with this. With these twins. I've deliberately played a steel hammer because it deals well with like random spam things. Also, you may have noticed that I'm not playing uh, a heavy spell in this deck, so we, we're gonna be relying more of a machine gun locks than spell cycle because we pretty much cannot spell cycle in this condition. I'm gonna be playing far tiny here to distract this. Piercing archer, cycling forms very basic stuff and now we're gonna be playing mana collector so if he goes in with thief like he previously did i think i'm gonna just uh, play very cool comp and collect that steel hammer because steel hammer will very well deal with all of this thing he has here i'm gonna play his tiny here and i'm gonna just play another mana collector because it looks like my opponent doesn't have a best way to deal with them and since i have Already three on the board, I think that's the high time where I'm gonna be playing machine guns, at least after dealing with these bone blasters. So, we're gonna be playing machine gun, I'm gonna sacrifice the damage of this piercing archer for the sake of the lock. So I'm gonna delete these troops on the bridge and quickly cycle to another machine gun because that's what we need in life. To have fun. I'm gonna play Gunner and Falls against this Viking. Looks like he is just drained on mana. We're gonna get a double machine gun lock, which is very fun to see. We're gonna get a lot of lot of damage, and we're not gonna get two towers, so we're gonna have to add some troops to do so. It looks like my opponent straight up gave up. Very fair from him because I don't think what I could have done from his position. So GG well played. Let's jump to the game number two. We're gonna get the second game against the same opponent, it looks like. Sometimes it happens on this ladder, I'm gonna cycle Ice Tiny and Fire Tiny, and I think right off the bat it's not a bad. Okay, was about to say, gotta be still careful about him trying to cheese us very early on. I was about to go for the mana pump, and I would be in a very bad shape if I did so, because I would have to just let this damage go from the Bone Blasters, and that's why I had to defend first. Actually defense was very expensive, so I would not be surprised if he tried to punish it. Okay, it looks like he is not in a business of punishing. Yeah, he's gonna just leave the game. I'm gonna just uh, jump to the game number 3 and since this game was very uh, short, I'm gonna just make up with playing 6 game on this video. And right now we're gonna get a matchup against Mr. Bolt, so... I've noticed recently Mr. Ball very sneakily got into the top 5 of the leaderboard, so it looks like he's uh, gonna be a very challenging opponent for me to beat in this one. I'm gonna be playing Blitz and from what I see he's gonna be playing his uh, his deck with Brute and Fawn King and some spammy cards like for instance you have here Ghost. We're gonna be see a lot of we're gonna see a lot of fonts right now. I actually mistimed this far tiny gonna receive three hits instead of one yeah sucks sometimes but either way i'm gonna be playing gunner and hope to just equalize this position i'm gonna be playing ice tiny here try to just defend as cheaply as possible because i would be okay he, he's gonna use blitz that's actually fine by me because i'm gonna just play mana collector right here he didn't uh, need to do that but right now i'm just very free to uh, play defense and uh, basically cl claim that I kind of have the advantage right now. I'm gonna right now play some cards right like this. I'm gonna try to 
lay Ice Tiny on that as well, so the Devils die. Brute will get one hit. Uh, I don't really mind because I'm gonna play soon another Mana Collector, pr given the fact that he won't attack me in a matter of seconds, and he doesn't. So I'm gonna just play a Mana Collector. He's gonna be playing actually very aggressively, so I will be forced to play defense right now, which is gonna be very tough, I might say. I'm gonna like, have to use Rolling Steel to stop his charge. I'm gonna receive some hits still. That's not a huge problem, because I'm gonna be playing another mana collector and right now I'm gonna just have a lot of mana advantage going into a double mana and since I only need one lock it's gonna be very difficult for him uh, to just stop my machine guns. I'm gonna play a steel hammer here, he's gonna be playing brute at the bridge which is I think a nice play, trying to stop everything from coming here. I'm gonna get a first lock which is very nice. Here are the kinda overextended on that so I'm gonna just play another machine gun, play a steel hammer here, gunner here. Hope to get this uh, machine gun just rolling and here we have a machine gun lock so that's gonna be very nice. He actually kinda does a nice play of just letting that go and not committing into that position once again. I'm gonna play another pump so I can play more aggressively in the near future. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny and Far Tiny. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel here and try to get a Fonz right here. My machine gun will lock once again. I don't think it was enough, so I'll need uh, one more ma machine gun lock. I'm gonna play machine gun this time on his lane, so he will be encouraged to play Brute even more. I'm gonna actually try to delete this boot as soon as it possible. I force out Fawn King and I think that's already a good sign for us because we are gonna be able to play a machine gun on the other side. We're gonna be playing Steel Hammer here, this here, and I think we're getting a lock which is very nice, very healthy lock. He has to use Blitz and if I don't receive any damage in this game, we're gonna just be able to close it out. Very nicely played, both from me and from my opponent. Unfortunately, we're gonna be taking a dab. I'm gonna just stay aggressive just because I can. And yeah, that's gonna be a very nice game. Number, I, I don't know which was the number, but very intense to be sure. I think he kinda had a matchup, but at the same time, he didn't have any way to deal with our mana collector. So I just took the edge where I could. And that's gonna be GG. Let's hop to the... Uh, that was actually the second game of this video. Let's hop to the game number 3. And we're in the game number 3. We're gonna be facing a... I think Russian buddy with 29 medals. Who's gonna be playing Dark Knight first play. Very good stuff. I'm gonna play Steel Hammer which is one of the best responses against the Dark Knight. Period. I'm gonna right now try to counter this footman and after that I'm gonna be playing Mana Collector. Should I switch the order? Probably I should, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just sacrifice this Bomber damage because it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna counter these twins with Fonz. He doesn't play any spell which is very fine because that means I'm gonna be able to just casually cycle uh, cards uh, like I intended to do, I'm gonna play another mana pump. Unfortunately, two tinies will die to one shot. I didn't want that to happen, but so I will say that it kind of sucks a bit. But at the same time, it's not very bad thing for me. He's gonna be playing machine gun at the bridge. <coughs> I'm gonna just distract its fire with a steel hammer, which has high HP count and. Uh, spank it with Fonso. My opponent already gave up, so he probably knows where it's going. I have a lot of pumps on the board, which will give me required mana to break through in a minute. So I'm gonna just uh, put his down from his demise and move to the game number 4 of this video. And right now we're gonna be against Drevi Noun, which I don't know what that means, but he is playing Mother Skeleton first play, so I think just 
To be safe, I'm gonna play a defensive machine gun, just clarify what we are playing here today. And uh, machine gun obviously will clear this mother skeleton very easily. He plays a missile and I don't think that's the good play, I'm gonna play steel hammer in retaliation to force out some response and I'm gonna wait to see, okay, he's playing Dark Knight, so that's gonna be a very nice sight for us to see because Dark Knight decks tend not to do deal well with a machine gun. I'm gonna get this rolling, I'm gonna get Ice Tiny to stun this Dark Knight and after that I think I'm gonna just pump down because I don't see the reason why not to. He's having missile though, so I'm gonna be playing machine gun, I mean uh, mana pump in between towers, so he doesn't have the opportunity to play a to play it, uh, a missile on our uh, on our mana collector and at the same chip our tower. I'm gonna play phones here. I don't think this bomb girl was too good because Steel Hammer will be able to clean her up. I'm gonna play Fire Tiny. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny, and I'm gonna be playing another mana pump and. This time I'm okay with him just missling my pump because I have the damage advantage anyway. And okay, I'm gonna just go with machine gun because I have just a huge mana lead. I linked this one mana here because I was pretty careless, but at the same time I just don't think he has any chances of getting mana in this game. I think I'm gonna just play Ice Tiny here, use the mana collector as a kiting card and activate my viking tower very nicely from this scenario I kinda wanted to play these phones later but well it, it sucks I've played them only then I'm gonna play steel hammer to counter this to counter this uh, uh, can wheel and right now I'm gonna just spam machine guns left and right and center so he doesn't defend them at all I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a 3 star because my opponent is still playing. Obviously he's absolutely entitled to do so. I'm not gonna bring his... Uh, I'm not gonna disallow him to do so because he obviously can't play a video game. But at this point the game is fairly over. Even if he does some big push I think I still can hold it. Even with these cheap cards and that's gonna be the game for you. So that's gonna be game 5 of this video. I promise the game number 6 and I will try to deliver. So uh, please stand by. And the game 6 probably won't disappoint because we're against Chiva Che who has a very interesting reputation among uh, many players because while he's very high on ladder many people find a very easy success against it. It's not always the case with me because he he plays Viking Bridge Spam and I'm trying to play many cheese decks for the videos and uh, those don't score well against solid decks and Viking Bridge Spam is certainly one of the most solid decks in the game. I'm gonna actually get a Necromancer. I mean, he's gonna get a Necromancer here which is gonna be very unfortunate for me. He's actually going in which is very scary timing for me. I'm gonna try to defend as well as it possibly possible, I mean, as it's humanly possible, I'm gonna try to delete this necromancer from the existence before he deals any significant damage, and okay, he's gonna get the best poison of his life, but at the same time he's just drained on mana, so my machine gun will deal a lot of damage, so I don't, I don't say that my play was nice, but at the same time it's kinda justified, so I don't have to worry about it later on. So I'm gonna just play Steel Hammer against it. The thing I'm fe I fear right now is the twins, so he can pretty much play them on the opposite side anytime he wants. Here they are. I don't think these twins will be enough to connect to the tower, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna just play Far Tiny for for safety precautions. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny, so my gunner will be harder to kill. His fifth won't be that efficient against her. I'm gonna absolutely kill that thief, at least bring it to a 1 HP situation and that's the exact situation I want before reaching double mana. I'm gonna play actually defensive machine gun against this piercing archer because I am i don't feel comfortable while dealing with his very big push and right now I'm gonna just play mana collector because 
He played Poison, there's no reason for me not to play Mana Collector, it's time to stack because right now, uh, I'm, obviously I'm gonna be having a faster cycle than him, so I'm gonna, I think, yeah, I, I kinda have to defend first, so, before the aggressive cycle, I'm gonna have to defend some, I think I'm gonna just play Fonz here, be very greedy and obviously the greed pays off because because why it shouldn't. I'm gonna play another mana collector and if he poisons I'm gonna just play machine gun and win the game instantly. I think he knows that that's why he's not gonna be playing any poisons anytime soon. He now plays poison and that's the timing where I want to strike. So he's actually having a viking against this machine gun. Very well timed for him. I'm gonna try to get a gunner going against that. He's gonna be having a necromancer which is considered to be good against uh, my fonts and indeed it did pretty good job. I'm gonna play another machine gun, try to get rid of that uh, twins. Unfortunately he gets a very good piercing archer. I would love her to be killed like this. He's gonna get also a necromancer. I still don't get a lock I was searching for but he's spending a lot of mana so I think I'm gonna just play machine gun. Just try to break through him because he is surely low on mana. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny here. That's a very straightforward defense. And the Machine Gun finally gets a lock on. And I think with this lock on, I'm gonna finally be able to close the game out. As he doesn't have any reset for this card. And GG gets called. So, that's gonna be a Machine Gun <laughs> pump. Against a Viking Bridge spam. I would say I actually had a good matchup because he didn't have a good response against my pump. Obviously, he could poison, but every time he poisons, he doesn't have a response for the second pump, which I'm gonna cycle very shortly. So, that's gonna be it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this very cheesy machine gun cycle deck. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more content from Boom Arena and from me in the future, and yeah, without further ado, I encourage you to just subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel so you don't miss the next uploads, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena. Take care.